All right, let's take a look at this comment here. Uh, Alex writes uh, regarding uh, the King James versus modern translations. He says, I'm with you, but don't just trust the English word. Always go to the original writings, only so you can be sure of the correct translation. That's right. Got to go to the original writings. So, all right, let's go to the original writings. Let's see, can we go? Uh -oh. There we go. There it is. All right. Let's. Oh my goodness, that's that's too much money. I gotta pay that to see what God really says. That's rich people money. Good night. Oh, right here we go. Uh, original Bible. There it is. The oldest surviving full text of the New Testament is the beautifully written Codex Sinaiticus, which was discovered at the St. Catherine's Monastery at the base of Mount Sinai in Egypt in the 1840s and 50s. It is not known where scribed. Rome or Egypt. Okay. Whoa. All right. Hold on a second. Yeah, David Daniels does this thing on Codex Sinaiticus. And he uh, he shows very clearly, very plainly. You know, for first of all, well, let me just say, okay, let me finish that. He shows very clearly that it looks, it, it very much appears that it's been something has been added or changed in the original Sinaiticus. He doesn't have the original. He has a photocopy of the originals, and so he does a series or whatever on this. And I, you know, if you're interested in that stuff, go check it out. It's very intriguing. Okay. Uh, but then also, you notice here it's St. Catherine's Monastery. That's a Catholic church. So you're telling me the original Bible was hidden in the basement of a Catholic church for 1,800 years. And now we've got to rely on the Catholics to tell us what God really says. Isn't that what they did uh, some 500 years ago when they made it a law that you had to attend church on Sunday? And that they made it a law that you could not have the Bible in your possession. You had to go to the church to read what the Bible says. In other words, you had to go to a Catholic priest to know what God really says. Isn't that what's going on here? Isn't that the same thing? What's the difference? You're saying, well, you got to rely on these the Catholic Church to know what the original Bible really says. All right, so that's a problem. And then it says Mount Sinai in Egypt. Um, so I got a problem with that. Okay, first of all, let's take a look. I want to read some a uh, couple of chapters of uh, the Codex Sinaiticus. All right, and uh, just so you got an idea here, let's go to this one. All right, so let's take a closer look at this, so I can actually look at the letters and. Uh, Goodness, let's zoom in here. Let's get real tight. That's no good. That's no good. That's too blurry. I gotta. How come I can't get a better image of that? There we go. There we go. Okay, there it is. Now let's start at the top here. And oh, whoa, whoa. Is that one word? The whole column? Well, oh my goodness, there's no way I could read that. What book is this? Is this uh, Second Timothy or Matthew? I don't even know what this is. I, 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 one thing I do know, it's not the book of Revelation, which is interesting, right? Because the Codex Sinaiticus does not have the book of Revelation. Think about that. Okay, I can't read none of this, so I'm just... You can't know what God says. There's no way in the world I'll be able to read this. You know, in the 10th grade, I took 
German class. You know, my name's Henning. It's a German name. So I took German in the 10th grade. You know how I did in that class? Well, I, I got the record today. I'm pretty sure it still stands today. I got 9% in that class. 60% was passing. I wasn't even close. I, I was not even close. I had no idea what was going on in that class. And 9% has got it still. Now I can't believe anybody's beat that. There's no way in the world that anybody's. Uh, that's probably a record, a universal record for every class that's ever been taught at that high school. I don't think anybody's ever gotten as low as a 9%. But that's what I got in German. Now it's German. Imagine if I took a class on this. Oh, I, I'd get 0%. There's no way I'd get 1%. There's no possible way. Okay, so anyways, who cares? All right, so in Mount Sinai in Egypt is another problem. All right, for, first of all, that's not Mount Sinai. They're lying to you. And who's lying to you? The Catholic Church is lying to you. So not only do I have a problem with this idea, see, if you look at this, uh, they're just not honest. Okay. So the Catholic Church tells you you got to go to them to know what God really says. All right. And then now you're going to depend on them to tell you where Mount Sinai is? They're not even going to show me a map, are they? All right. Oh, for crying out loud. This is unbelievable. But regardless, okay, what they say is it's, it's in between... This is crazy. Sinai Peninsula. Let's take a look at that. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this ain't going to be the best, but right here, they say, if you can see where my mouse is, they say this is, um, what is that? Uh, you got Aqaba and you got the Suez, I think it's called, right? And so in between the Suez and Aqaba is the uh, um the pencil, I don't know, Sinai Peninsula, or whatever you call it. So right there, about where the mouse is, that's where they say Mount Sinai is. But the real Mount Sinai is over here to the east in Saudi Arabia. It's, uh, what is that, Jel El Jebelaz? I'm not sure what it's called. But you can look all into that and stuff, and the evidence is overwhelming. This is just some female Catholic who had a lot of money and wanted to build her uh, majesty, you know, her kingdom right there. And they changed, they didn't have any idea, didn't care about the truth at all. They just found a nice spot and said, let's call it this. All right. So anyways, who cares? The, the point is, we ha are we, we have to trust the Catholics? We can't trust the Catholics one little bit. So that's a problem right there all right so boy oh boy um you know what i should probably make another video explaining why we don't need the originals and we don't even have the originals this is not the originals right this here the black's law dictionary that's not the original bible the, this right here that's not the very first bible Black's Law Dictionary, that's no, that's not the original Bible either. So, you you know, you could do a search and see down here at the bottom, go through about 1,000 to about 50,000 different pages. At some point, I promise you, you're going to start to figure out there is no original Bible. Which is the original Bible? Well, there we go. Why is the King James remains the most popular translation? This is in there. I'm not reading it. Not only was it first people's Bible, but its poetic cadences and vivid imagery have an enduring influence. Yeah, it's uh, it's inspired of God. There's no question about that. So if you want to, I would actually agree if you wanted to say the King James Bible is the original Bible. And that it has the Old Testament and the New Testament fully written perfectly. All right. If you want to argue against that, I'd like to hear a better.